favor is upon your life, you like the job, take it. You like the relationship, it's yours. If you like the opportunity, take it now. If you like the promotion, receive it right now. If you like the finances, let it rain upon you. If you like the business, I open it up to you. No good thing shall he withhold. No good thing shall he withhold. That is the flow of good things. The flow of good things. The flow of good things. Because you are operating under the climate of God's favor. Hallelujah. Favor guarantees answers to prayer. Hallelujah. Answers to prayer. In Exodus chapter 33, if you read from verse 13 to verse 23, you will, you will see a very interesting discussion between Moses and God. Oh, Moses began, now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace. Before this point, he's been praying and God has been answering. So he kept praying and God will answer. Pray, God will answer. Pray, God will answer. Now if I have found grace, again, grace, favor. In thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. Next verse. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. That is, you have asked for me to go, you have asked for face, I will not only show you my face, I will go with you. My presence will go with you. That is God answering beyond what you pray. Hey, there is somebody under the sound of my voice that is about to tick off prayer point that they had written down all this while. All the issues you've been presenting before the Lord. Favor is coming upon you to secure divine attention, to secure answers. Can I hear your amen like thunder? If you read on, you will see God answered all his prayers, all until he now said, there is something I want to ask. Don't be angry. Just show me your face. That is, I know nobody can see your face, but I'm daring to ask what nobody can have. Show me now your face. And God said, uh, you have asked something that uh, cannot happen. He said, but I am going to do something. Instead of saying, no, don't go there. He said, I will pass by you. And I will put my hand on your face. And when I pass, you will see my back. Because nobody can see my face and leave. That is, you, I, I am not able to say no to you. Moses, what you are asking for is outright no. But instead of saying no, let's renegotiate. I will put my, at least you will see my hand. I will use it to block your eyes. When I pass, I will remove it. Then you will see my back. You will now be able to zoom into generations before you came. You will be able to see Genesis. You will be able to see Adam. You will be able to see the Garden of Eden. You will be able to see everything that took place till the day you were born. You didn't meet Abraham, but you will see Abraham. God couldn't say no to a man carrying favor. Guess what? Even after his death, physically, God still answered that prayer. When the glory of God arrived on the Mount of Transfiguration, Elijah showed up, Moses showed up, and they saw the glory of God. One on one, face to face. Why? A man of favor cannot be turned down. There are men of favor rising today. There are women of favor rising today. There are people that God is going to begin to hear their voice and say, Angel, go now. Angel, attend to her. Angel, attend to him. Why? Because favor is coming upon you. I said favor is coming upon you. If you believe it, let me hear the loudest. Amen. Amen.